<laughs> Look at the stick. Uh uh, this ain't. I want y'all to know something right now. I'm filming around a bunch of bees. <laughs> really filming in front of these bees? Oh my god. What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video, new vibes on my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. My name is Kiana for those of you who don't know. And as always, please make sure you guys are signed into YouTube to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell to join the notification crew and sprinkle some love on that like button to better help this channel grow if you like this video. Today we're gonna be strengthening our boundaries, learning how to set healthy boundaries, and why it is important that we do. Setting boundaries is a good way to show up for yourself. It demonstrates strong moral and self-respect and it is also a form of self-love. Boundaries help us strengthen our sense of self-worth, maintain healthy relationships, and protect our peace. If you ever find yourself wondering why it feels like you're not showing up for yourself in certain areas in your life, it's probably because you're not setting proper boundaries for yourself. There could be various reasons why it might be difficult for somebody to set boundaries for themselves. You're either a people pleaser or you feel a sense of guilt or obligation or overcommitment to someone or something and you wind up getting yourself hurt or feeling manipulated in the process. If you're someone who doesn't know how to clearly define your own boundaries, it can be somewhat difficult knowing where to start because it's sort of an awkward and uncomfortable process, especially going through it alone and by trial and error because at first it might feel like people are not listening to you or they're not respecting your boundaries. Unless you had parents who knew how to set boundaries or maybe a friend or maybe it is just a skill that you naturally acquired early on in life, you'd wish you had somebody to teach you how to establish boundaries for yourself and that is why I'm here today. Self-awareness is key and we have to be able to cultivate stronger awareness of self so that we can identify exactly what our boundaries are in order to set healthier boundaries. Self-awareness is basically just knowing yourself down to a T, knowing what makes you happy, what triggers you, understanding your personality and your character, and knowing what your strengths and your weaknesses are. Really studying yourself and being introspective and gathering all of that information about yourself from within I think is truly a powerful practice. Strengthening my boundaries is such a huge personal goal of mine. Boundaries are the way that we single-handedly teach people how to treat us and show people that we are not going to just put up with anything. I was someone who didn't know how to set boundaries and in fact I'm still learning how to do that. I've literally had had to ask somebody to help me learn how to set boundaries because I was literally so clueless and it's not always as easy and simple as it looks so give yourself some grace if you don't get it right the first few times. I wouldn't necessarily call myself somebody who is a people pleaser but rather somebody who has always sort of tried to keep the peace meaning that I tend to stay silent a lot in situations where I really should be speaking up on so I guess you can kind of say that that's like a branch of being a people pleaser but not as much as like being somebody who's not able to say no. Let's start by practicing saying no. Saying no is and always was a full sentence and that is okay. Knowing how to firmly express your boundaries is going to be crucial in getting the job done. It may feel uncomfortable at first but over time it will get much easier to set a boundary with someone. When you set a boundary the more you do it the better you'll become and the more you reinforce the boundaries in all the other areas of your life. Cultivating self-love will have a huge impact on the way that you set boundaries and will also raise your standards. Prioritize your self-care and show more kindness to yourself. Utilizing positive affirmations are a great way to show yourself more kindness. The reason why self-love will help you set stronger boundaries is because through this technique, you'll know what's best for you at all times. It's also how you'll carry yourself, which also sends people certain signals about the way that they should treat you. Don't be a people pleaser. Always take into account how you feel over the way that others feel because while we might be empathetic, some other people might not be as empathetic as us. And 
those people are going to be the people to always put themselves and their feelings before anybody else you're going to be the ones who are the takers and you don't want to be that giver that somebody walks all over you want to be somebody who can quickly scope out a situation stands up for themselves and sets firm boundaries another reason why people might find it difficult to set boundaries are because they're afraid of making other people upset but you literally have no reason to be afraid if somebody is pissed off about you setting a boundary with them they need to figure it out okay they can sit with that they can sit with their own emotions and deal with that themselves it is really not your job to make somebody else feel comfortable about you setting a boundary somebody not being able to respect your boundaries says more about them than it says about you when you successfully set your boundaries make sure you stand on them especially if the person is respectful of the boundary because you don't want to fall into this trap or this game of you overriding your boundaries for the sake of somebody else and then the person winds up not respecting you because they feel like if you would go back on your own boundary for them then they can go back on your boundary as well so it becomes sort of a game for them at that point for example if you're somebody who says that cheating is a deal breaker for you and somebody's cheating on you and you continue to take them back you are sending them the message that it is okay to continue to cheat on you and that just means that you haven't set strong enough boundaries for yourself yet be prepared for people to not like it when you do set boundaries for yourself because they may keep trying you so you really have to stand on business when it comes to setting your boundaries example of a personal boundary to me is somebody calling me a friend too soon this is sort of a new boundary for me and it's also a red flag once upon a time there was this girl who started calling me her BFF way too soon and I saw it as a red flag but I overlooked it and that was the first mistake that I made because she actually turned out to be somebody who was in secret competition with me and who wanted to outdo me and ultimately try to bring me down in the process I had to immediately cut her off from my life and with that being said that's not how friendships are supposed to be like you're not supposed to be in competition with your friends or try to like outdo or have anything on your friends yes so calling me a friend too early is a huge no-no for me remember that you are the only person that knows yourself the very best and knows exactly where your boundaries are so don't ever let anybody else make any decisions for you about what your boundaries are make sure that you spend more time with yourself so you can get to know yourself better so that you can set firm boundaries for yourself brush your boundaries fairly and remember that no is and always was a full sentence and remember to practice self-care and self-love I love you guys so much that is all that I have for this topic if you guys like this video please leave me likes like this video and if you watch the video to the very end you're a real one make sure you guys leave me my heart emojis in the comments down below to let me know that you guys are here and yeah i'll talk to you guys in the comments and i'll see you guys in our next video right here until next time